What was that noise? I think we're in trouble. Who is it? Well, if we're lucky, it's just the Vogons come to throw us into space. And if we're unlucky? If we're unlucky, the captain might be serious in his threat that he's going to read us some of his poetry first. You are now my prisoners, and you will listen to my poetry. <clears throat> oh, frettled grunt bugly, uh. thy mincturations are to me as plurdled gabble blotchets on a lurgid bee. Arg! Group. I implore thee, my foonting turling drones, and hoopsiously drangle me with crinkly bindlewordles, or I will render thee in the gobworts with my blurgle crunchin. See if I don't! Ah! Now, earthlings, I present you with a simple choice. Either die in the vacuum of space, or tell me how good you thought my poem was. Uh. Actually, I, I, I quite liked it. Oh, uh, oh, um, good. Oh, yes. I thought that some of the metaphysical imagery was really particularly effective. Uh, y yes, do continue. Oh, and, uh, interesting r rhythmic devices, too, uh, which seem to counterpoint the, uh, uh... Counterpoint the surrealism of the underlying metaphor of the, uh... uh the, the humanity of the... Vogonity. Oh, oh, oh uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, Vogonity, sorry, of the poet's compassionate soul which uh, contrives through the medium of the verse structure to sublimate this and transcend that and come to terms with the fundamental dichotomies of the other and one is left with a profound and vivid insight into... into... Uh, into whatever it was the poem was about. Well done, Arthur. That was very good. Uh, so, what you're saying it is that I write poetry because underneath my mean, callous, heartless exterior, I, I really just want to be loved? Is that right? Well, I mean, yes. Don't we all deep down, you know, uh... No. Well, you're completely wrong. I just write poetry to throw my mean, callous, heartless exterior into sharp relief. I'm going to throw you off the ship anyway. God, take the prisoners to number three airlock and throw them out. What? what?